evening. This regular meeting of August 13th, 2018 of the Dubuque Community School District Board of Education is called to order. Our mission is to develop world-class learners and citizens of character in a safe and inclusive learning community. Roll call, please. Mr. Martin. Here. Ms. Bradley. Here. Mr. Donahue. Here. Mr. Prohaska. Here. Ms. Ryan. Here. Mr. Sancy. Here. Ms. Whitman. Here. All right. We have the Pledge of Allegiance right. on our own again. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I move the Board of Education approve the agenda as submitted. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the agenda as submitted. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. I move the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting on July 16th and special meeting on July 6, 2018 as submitted. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting on July 16th and the special meeting on August 6, 2018 as submitted. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. All right, there's a couple board salutes out there that I I have one. Um, this board salute goes to the many Dubuque Community School District students who are and have been involved in the area theater productions this summer. Our students have shined on stages already at the Rising Star Theater, the Bell Tower Theater, and next week at the Grand Opera House. Kudos to the dedicated staff who helped them have an outstanding summer theater experience. To their families for helping them in their stage pursuits and to the students for the dedication, creativity and enthusiasm. I know it's a lot of hard work for not just the actors and actresses but the parents involved. So thank you. All right. I have a board salute. Uh, I have the board salute goes out to Dubuque Bible Church on Pennsylvania Avenue for generously opening up their parking lot for Hempstead students during the school week. With the number of Hempstead spots being taken up to accommodate construction of the swimming pool, being able to use this parking lot will lessen the inconvenience during construction. So the students will be able to um, use some of the parking at the Bible Church, which is down and across the street from Hempstead. I believe sophomores primarily will use, I will use that spot. Okay. I, I've got a board salute. Um, a salute goes to Jim Metcalf, a retired bus driver from the district who was recently honored with a longevity award from the Iowa Pupil Transportation Association for his 55 years of service wow. to the district. Wow. So he was honored at their uh, conference and trade show in July. So um, obviously Jim and all of our drivers uh, uh, in attendance really work hard each day to get kids to and from school safely. So we're always appreciative of that and it's certainly great to see Jim honored in this way. So congratulations. Wonderful. Great, thank you. Any other board salutes? I'd like to say thank you to all the teachers and principals and other school personnel, both central office and school-based, who have worked to get ready for our children to come back. It's a huge task to start a new school year and yet it's a labor of love. And so it's uh, a special thanks to each and all of them. I'd like to add on to that to uh, our buildings and grounds uh, crew especially for um, uh, making improvements kind of hastily uh, in the summertime, uh, bringing all our schools up to s uh, snuff as far as safety is concerned, student safety, making that a priority. So thank you very much. Great. Thank you. I move with the Board of Education to suspend the rules of order and go into open forum. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education suspend the rules of order and go into open forum. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Anybody wishing to address the board at this time can do so. If you could state your name, address, and what organization you're with if you are here for one, please. Okay. Julie Heiderscheidt. Uh, my address is 614 10th Avenue Southeast in Dyersville. That's my home address. I work here in Dubuque for Hillcrest Family Services. 
and I just wanted uh, to, a chance to address the board. Um, it, I am saddened by some of the things that are coming later in the agenda um, regarding an educational partnership spanning uh, three decades that will be dramatically changing but yet encouraged that the district is making provisions for Hillcrest to continue to provide much needed mental health support to students of the district. It is not who is in control of the program, but about doing the right thing for those who are our future. Um, the one thing I ask is that should the project be running behind schedule, that the district let us know as soon as possible as the space currently re rented by the district and our facility could house the new program and to be able to save additional expense prior to us repurposing uh, what space will no longer be needed uh, for the 2019-2020 school year. So, thank you. Great, thank you. Anyone else? Okay. I move that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order and return to regular session. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order and return to regular session. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve those items listed in the consent agenda. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve those items listed in the consent agenda. Any members wishing to have any items pulled? There being none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion carries. All right, that leads us to our facilities report. Very good. Our facilities committee uh, met last Monday. And I have a few recommendations to make here. As always, we discuss these uh, at length at our committee meetings. Um, I move that the Board of Education approve change order number 18 to Conlon Construction on the Senior Higher Renovation Project in the increased amount of $22,640.56. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve change order number 18 to Conlin Construction in the Senior High School Renovation Project in the increased amount of $22,600.56. Is there any discussion? This involves some of the flooring changes and some there were some over-excavation uh, charges uh, in putting in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Of course there is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there always is. There's always over-excavation. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve the, the executed construction contract, bonds, and certificate of insurance with Ports and Construction, Inc. for the Alta Vista Alternative Learning Center addition slash renovation project. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the executed construction contract, bonds, and certificate of insurance with Ports and Construction Incorporated for the Alta Vista Alternative Learning Center Addition Renovation Project. Is there any discussion? I think that just, just to a little bit reiterate, uh, in the long haul, uh, this will end up saving the district money. and. Uh, the, the completion date that I saw was tentatively scheduled for interior August 2nd and uh, exterior by August 30th, I believe, of next year. So that's if we're, we should be on target, hopefully. Stan, was you mention anything about it? Well, yeah, I'm not sure of the dates. I think Bill's shaking his head that those are right. Um, but yeah, as, as was mentioned, this has been kind of an ongoing conversation for, I don't know, five or six years. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's uh, just you know it's time for us to to look at uh, how we can be uh, purposeful in the using of uh, of one cent sales tax dollars and saving pebble dollars with which we use to pay rent in the future. So this is the this is what brings us to today. Yep. It's been a you know great relationship with Hillcrest and that will continue as Julie mentioned. There's there's no doubt about that. Uh, this is just a, a little bit of an alteration in course. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve change order number three to Geesey Roofing Company on the Hoover School roof replacement project 
an increased amount of $26,984.75. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve change order number three to Giese Roofing Company on the Hoover School roof replacement project in the increased amount of $26,984.75. Is there any discussion? I believe this was uh, added on to the, when they were putting the roof on, they discovered some of the e uh, overhang or the eaves uh, needed some extra work. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve the transfer of funds from the general fund to the student activity fund for expenditures made in the amount of $45,417.93 for athletic safety and protective gear, uh, new football helmets per Iowa Code 298A-8.2. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the transfer of funds from general fund to the student activity fund for expenditures made in the amount of $45,417.93 for athletic safety and pr protective gear, new football helmets, per Iowa Code Section 298A.8, Section 2. Is there any discussion? Just to reiterate a little bit, the state allowed transfer of funds for safety equipment from the general fund. Yeah. Yep. So real briefly, we have asked our activities directors and coaches to look at what safety equipment uh, we have and uh, making sure that since we can, we, we want to be uh, up to date with that, we owe it to our student athletes to protect them and with the Conversation currently going on nationally in regards to uh, uh, brain uh, and head safety. Um, we had a new mechanism for purchasing football helmets, so we updated all of the varsity football helmets for both high schools to ensure that our student athletes have the most productive equipment possible. Great, thank you. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. I move that the Board of Education adopt a resolution accepting endorsement that the district's insurance carrier will indemnify an employee required to give bond for faithful performance of duties required by law. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education adopt a resolution accepting endorsement that the district's insurance car carrier will indemnify an employee required to give bond for faithful performance of duties required by law. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Prohaska. And educational programs. Yes. Thank you. We met on August 7th with the start of a new school year. Much to discuss. Um, we heard from Mr. Kramer, HR director, that about the memorandum of understanding between the district and the Buke Education Association which extends the length of the master contract for three more years and really allows under the current um, state laws for negotiations and bargaining for both parties to open up some language uh, items through the negotiations process. Then we, <clears throat> Mr. Reingans uh, showed us the, we reviewed the organizational chart for this year, which will we look at on, on an annual basis. And we also reviewed some of the staffing changes made at the uh, forum for district leadership purposes. Then had an interesting discussion about school start and end times. It's a topic that goes back in my history to about 20 years ago when we had a community group look at start and end times and bumped into some transportation issues and some other things that caused that to back up. The board and uh, the superintendent are interested in looking at that again to say, do we have the right start and end times? Can we make some adjustments that would be in keeping with what we know about various age level of students and their internal time clocks and when best learning times are for them? So the board will be having a uh, uh, discussion meeting about that coming up fairly soon to sort of kick off the process of looking at that issue and certainly the public and the district will hear more about that as that goes forward. 
We also reviewed the 31 Iowa Association of School Board legislative priorities that came from the IASB, and each district is being asked to select their four top priorities. So as we reviewed them, it really was a significant agreement among the board members that the four that we would choose to send on to ISB uh, include these four things. Preschool, which is looking for currently each of our four-year-old preschools, preschoolers, the district receives 0.5 uh, half of the funding that it receives for a kindergarten through 12th grade student. ISB and we certainly Con considered a priority that that staff that weighting be increased to a, a 1.0 to a full funding full weighting if that could be made to happen so that was the first priority second priority that we asked to bring forward is the dropout and at risk uh, program that we we're seeking to have the funding for at risk students and dropout pre prevention to actually be incorporated in, on a regular basis into the funding formula. So that's not a year by year wondering if it's going to be what it's going to be. So that will be a second priority that we'll carry forward <clears throat> if the board chooses to approve our, these priorities. Third thing is mental health. We certainly know as a as a nation we face mental health challenges as a school district. We like other school districts have children who need so many services in mental health. Certainly our, our um, colleagues at Hillcrest and other agencies in the community, Four Oaks and Hills and Dales and all of those, work with many issues surrounding mental health as well as other areas of disability. And so part of the recommendation for the mental health is to have, for us to be able to support increased access for mental health services for our students and to have increased funding so that both within the community and within the district we're able to keep improving the means and the capacity we have for serving our, our students with mental health issues. The last thing that we bring forward as a recommendation, I'll make a motion in a moment, is for the SAVE program. We know it, its nickname as the One Cent Levy. The one, and the one cent sales tax, I should say, is for remodeling existing buildings and for adding on to existing buildings and for building new buildings. Technology. And technology, thank you, Mr. Rankins. And so those are the four things that we bring forward and I make a motion that the Board of Education approve the 2018-19 IASB legislative priorities as presented. Let me recap them for you. Preschool, dropout and at risk, mental health, and the one cent levy or the SAVE program with a strong opposition to school vouchers. I failed to mention that as well. Second. <laughs> it has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the 2018-19 IASB legislative priorities as presented. Is there any further discussion? One quick point of clarification. So this time of year, IASB does this survey, so we choose from the legislative priorities that they've come up with, uh, the, what we believe to be our top four. They represent districts from large to small. You will also hear us talk about UEN legislative, so urban education district uh, legislative priorities. So the eight largest school districts in the state will set their priorities, not always exactly in alignment with Iowa uh, Association of School Boards. And then finally, we will set our own, which were generally shared with the uh, the city and the county at the our legislative night in early December. So you you might see three times we talk about legislative agendas or uh, uh, priorities, and they may vary slightly because of the list we have to choose from or if it's directly related to Dubuque specifically or the large urban education district. So just so it's not uh, confusing why you might see slightly different legislative priorities. Okay. Great. Thank you. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> that motion carries. The remaining two things that we talked about, uh, we reviewed the NICC, Northeast Iowa Community College and District uh, contract for 2018-19. And the purpose of that really is to provide accessibility for college courses offered at NICC for the students that we serve in Dubuque schools. So we took a look at that. That's been already processed in the consent agenda. 
The last thing was graduation requirements. Every now and then, it's time for us to review our current slate of graduation requirements. It's had uh, a fairly long life as it is, but it has had some modifications along the way. Most recently, financial literacy being added. And so we simply began a, a bit of discussion about that. Uh, Mr. Prohaska in particular bringing forward an interest in a review. So I believe we'll be hearing more about that as we go forward. Great. Thank you. Sure. All right. I believe that takes us into new business. I move, I'm going. Oh, I move the Board of Education expel student number 800118 from attending school in the Dubuque Community School District through January 18th, 2019. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education expel student number 800118 from attending school in the Dubuque Community School District through January 18, 2019. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Are there any board member or administrative issues? Just a reminder that let's see, Wednesday is the opening session for uh, staff. Grand River, Center. Grand River Center doors open at 7:30. Program approximately eight to nine o'clock, depending upon how wordy the board president and the superintendent get. Yeah, about an hour. It's short and sweet. Could you also give us a little update, uh, a little bit on like? Uh, how, are, how ready we are for school. I assume we talked a little bit about facilities, staffing, and all the... Yeah, we're, they're coming in a week, so we're, we're ready. <laughs> we're ready, for, and, uh, ready or not. We had new teachers, <laughs> we had the new teachers uh, started today. Uh, so new, the new teacher orientation and mentoring program started today. So uh, very excited about... It was an interesting room of new uh, professionals. A lot of more experience in the room than we, what we uh, generally see. So we are... Uh, glad to see that we are not only able to hire new teachers, but f folks uh, coming to us from various districts with a wide range of experience uh, from California to Texas to Chicago, um, but just really excited about having those folks on board. Buildings are looking great. You know, Bill and Charlie, you hear a lot about the, the new projects, the swimming pool, the, the senior renovation, the Hempstead renovation, and all of that is always on top of the daily work and the summer work of, of getting the current buildings uh, prepared a few uh, uh, when everybody else is sort of scheduling vacation and, and a little bit of slow down time those folks go the opposite direction and, and work excessively hard uh, exceedingly hard to make sure the buildings are ready I've been in many of them uh, in the last week and they they look fantastic and we're just uh, so I, yeah I would say we're ready to go transportations trying to figure out who all needs a ride and what those routes are going to look like and those letters are going out to parents and so um, a new registration process this year um, with a, a new uh, student information system that's kept Colby a little busy in the last month or two, but uh, uh, we're ready to roll. And I saw the senior high renovation project. You got the lanes all painted for access to the parking lot off Clark Drive and Locust. Very excited about the fact that the entry and exit is moved up to the crown of that hill so that it'll be much safer for students being able to see and it been parents. Yep. Uh, Direction, both directions, uh, when they're exiting that parking lot. So, As they say, safety takes a lot of forms. As they say, we're ready. We're ready to rock and roll. Isn't it? We're ready to go. And one day, I got a call from Mike Size on my home phone, a call from Mike Size on my cell phone, a text message, an email to my school district email, an email to my personal email, all making sure that my daughter was ready for school. This year, my, I've never been given so much attention, Mike, by the school district ever, even as a school board member. So well, we have we have a few parents, don't we, that we do that for? Yeah. 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 Every every year, there's always a couple. Yep. There's a handful. A couple thousand. Out of just ten thousand. Just a few. I thought, I thought you did that for everybody. <laughs> yeah. And, and earlier, I acknowledged the the staff and their preparations mm -hmm. and excitement for the new school year. I think that we also need to acknowledge parents and many grandparents get in the act, what it village it takes to get children ready to start a new school year as well, and the importance of that 
communication and collaboration and just urge all parents to be in close communication with the school at the start of the school year and as the school year continues. That, that partnership makes it so we can best help our kids. So thanks to all who are getting kids ready too. Well said. All right. Anything else? We are adjourned. <laughs>